Florida, first and foremost, is the best place to do business. It's, uh, you know, there's no state income tax, so you automatically get a raise on your paycheck. It's, you know, beautiful year round here. There's easy flights in and out of the area to visit your family or folks, and then actually be able to take real vacations to anywhere else in the country or the world from here. And then, you know, it's just a great area. There's so much opportunity happening here, and there's so many people that are retiring, and so so many people are investing right now into the next generation leader. So if you're looking to be in a company that's looking for succession planning, you can get involved in that. If you're looking for high tech startups like our company, there's that's here in this region as well. So it's a really great mixed balance of a whole bunch of of different industries that are here. Even manufacturing, blue collar jobs that most people don't think about are here locally. And to me, if you think that there's no jobs, I can tell you that, that that's a myth. There's a ton of jobs. There's a lot of people hiring. It is about getting uncomfortable and getting out of your four walls, I call it. So you've got to get out and shake hands and you've got to take internships and don't think that you're going to make the most amount of money on your first job. It's all about experiences, but the experiences are here both personally and professionally to develop yourself. I think it's always been a very well-balanced community. I think it's it's obviously a little bit older demographic when you just naturally look around. And we have a lot of tourism here as well. But one of the things I loved is, is in, if you're in New York City, to get a mentor to sit down with you would be an act of God, right? Here, we have so many people that are retired that want to give back. So they pick time to mentor you. And then on top of that, they've already mentored the next line of generation. So I call myself like a bridge gap right now, right? I am uh, at the area where 60 year old folks are investing into me and I'm investing into the 20 somethings at this point. And it's great because we're passing that knowledge down of the area, of the businesses that are happening and just the, you know, the global experiences that we have as well. You know, the parks are amazing here. You know, being able to go to the beaches are great. Boating's great. But the park systems we have, the things that, that you can do in this area from arts to sciences to everything in between, are, there's just so much to do and a lot of it's free. And so you can go out and have a very family fun weekend for not a lot of uh, money. And then so many events are always happening. So if you go on, there's a, a lot of great websites locally focused on kind of the uh, moms and dads to bring their kids out, which is great. And even when I was in the 20s growing up here, you know, when I was uh, I'm a lot older now, but there was always things to do. You know, social scene was great. There was a places to go. And I'm seeing a ton of that happen right now uh, in this region. The micro brews that are going on, the waterfront uh, dining that's happening. You know, the experiences that are getting created are just awesome to be able to go out and do it. And you used to have to go to bigger cities to find it. You're finding that right now here in our backyard.